Squarespace quietly dropped a couple great features that I want to cover in today's video. The first is the portfolio items can now be set to draft. So previously when you added a new portfolio item, it automatically went live and was added in your collection list. But now you'll see it gets a status of draft, so it won't be live. You have to go in and once you're done designing your portfolio item page, you can then set it to published and then hit save and then your project will be live to your site visitors. So this is a huge quality of life upgrade. I had some code. I had a whole blog post about how to do this with code before because there wasn't a way to do it built in. Now we get to do it built in. Awesome upgrade there. Next, um, Squarespace has added a blue sky logo before they didn't have that icon. So they've now added it to their icon set. So just nice little improvement there. And then lastly, the mobile header can now be resized. So we didn't have any, you know, ability to resize the header before, but now we get a little handle where we can resize it. Or if we go to edit design and scroll down, we now get this height adjustment. So we had a height adjustment for desktop, but not for mobile before. Now we have a little bit more flexibility there. One thing to note, if you do have the fixed header uh, enabled, so if I go ahead and save and exit, so on scroll, it's gonna shrink the header. Um, and that's just because you don't want a giant header covering up the content. So if your header is larger than this shrink size, it's automatically gonna shrink down. So if you don't want that, then you have to add a little bit of custom CSS just to set like a static header size. Um, so as I'm scrolled down here, I'm gonna right click and bring up my Chrome inspect tools. And so we can see the media query that they're using here. And basically when the header has the shrink class, so basically when you're scrolled down the page, then the header shrinks and this is the padding on the top and the bottom. And it's gonna take whichever is smaller, 5.6% of the width of the viewport or 2% of the taller of the height of the screen or the width of the screen. So um, <laughs> that doesn't really matter. I was just explaining those media queries. What I'm gonna do is copy this media query into my custom CSS window. And then we can just set like a static size for the header. Um, and we can do this in pixels. That way it doesn't change. So let's do like a padding top and bottom of 20 pixels. And then I'm gonna change this to just target the header. So now um, the header doesn't do that little shrink thing because it kind of like moves the content as you shrink down. So if I comment that out, we'll now get the shrinking again. And you can see like as you scroll back up to the top of the window, it kind of like bumps the content down. So it's a little bit annoying. So we now have the ability to set the height of the header, but if you don't wanna worry about that little jump, then you might wanna just use the CSS to set the height of your header on mobile. And now it doesn't have that jump. You're just setting it uh, in pixels, however tall you want the header to be always. So a um, couple awesome updates from Squarespace. I'll have the CSS in the blog post in the description below this video if you're interested in just setting a fixed height and not doing it through the new editor. But you do have that new editor option if you want to do it that way now. A um, couple things that I want to touch on now that I've uh, kind of finished the updates for portfolio collections. Just looking ahead at some features that I would love to see added to the portfolio collection. Right now, you can't add categories or tags like you can on blog posts. I would love to see that feature added for portfolio items. And also there's a 60 item limit. So it's pretty limiting if you are designing a site for a larger business or you yourself are a larger business, you can only have 60 items in a portfolio collection. And so sometimes that just immediately rules out using this portfolio collection at all. So I would love to see that limit increased as well. Fingers crossed that they will be releasing that update in the future. And if they do, you can be sure to find out about it on my channel. So consider subscribing if you're interested in receiving Squarespace update news like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.